Savannah doesn't think about the consequences of what she does. One of those things is sexting. She's putting herself out there inappropriately, constantly. Savannah loves to shake her booty, uh, send lewd photos of herself. I have found Savannah sending highly inappropriate photos of herself to other guys to get marijuana. One time, someone sent Savannah a nude photo of themselves, and in turn, Savannah sent one of her. When I confronted Savannah about it, she acted like it was no big deal. Now, we just looked at some things that you were saying that's two years ago. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you have no access to do those things now. Even when I did, I wouldn't, I haven't sent stuff like that in over two years. Those are from such a long time ago and I don't do that thing anymore. Uh -huh. Well, let's assume this. Let's assume you're back home, okay? And you're free to come and go like any teenager. And based on what you've said, I don't have to predict what you're likely to do. You're telling me what you're likely to do. You're saying, I'm indiscriminate with friends. If a guy comes up and, and he's a gangbanger and he's real with me, I, I'm fine. Let's get in the car and go rolling. I'm, I'm good. No, I, I have a trust issue. I'm not going to just trust you and hang out with you like that. I have to get to know somebody first. I don't trust people, I'm not gonna get in your car if I just met you. And I hang out with dancers, I hang out with all types of people, <clears throat> not just gangbangers and bad people, I hang out with all types of people. But included in that are people that can put you in dangerous scenarios, right? Yeah, but it's my decision at the end of the day if I'm putting myself in that situation or not. But you do that a lot. You put yourself in that position by hanging out with these people. Was your boyfriend a gun-toting drug dealer? No. Did you tell your mother he was? No. Yes, she did. No, I didn't. You told me that he sells drugs and he carries a weapon, a gun. I did not tell you, you that. You told me at one party. I told party. you when we went at a party. Yeah, you told me you went at the party. Yeah. And he, and, and he thought you were just flirting with some other guy and he threatened to pull out his gun and you said, no, 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 don't do that. Remember? Well, no, wait, look, you can roll your eyes all you want, but it either happened or it didn't. One of you yes, is not telling happened. the truth. That happened, yes. Okay, why are you rolling your eyes like, oh, come on? Because I don't want to discuss stuff like that. Well, I'm sure you don't. On, on here in front of tons of people. That's well, why we're here. Well, I didn't tell you these things so I want, you can... I want to I want, get some help for you and us. No, you want it for me. For you, both you want me sent away, Mom. I'm telling you, I just want the best for both of us. And, and I can't, can prove, I can't prove anything to you if I'm not given a chance. I just You've want a You've been given chance. chance after chance no, after chance, No, you sent me Savannah. away with no chance. There's an, you, you haven't me proven yourself. Because I can't. I can't prove myself that I want to be every better. Every chance you that get, I want. listen, every chance you get to prove yourself, you fail every time. You no, don't want to. I was, f I you do want to. make it to. better. I do want to. I don't want to You would have smoke. already made it better. We wouldn't no, be here. No, I do want to make it better. I just need another chance to show you. <laughs> another you chance? You forced me to go over there. You, you blocked me away from everybody. And I didn't even have, I only have you and you're not even there for me. You don't listen to me. And when I try and tell you something, if I get upset, you tell me to shut the hell up and to leave you alone. Just like last night. No, I you don't. don't. Yes, you do. Even last night, when yeah. I was trying to tell you something. Yeah, I was telling you I didn't want to go. You told me that I'm just like my father because I told you you don't keep your word. That's such a sensitive topic to tell me that. And you know that. Look, last night I didn't want to go on that university walk thing. Which okay? was fine. Yeah, I told you I was tired. My feet were hurting. And you said, that's not a good enough excuse. No, I told you the time. All you had to do was say, okay, mom. I said mom, that was fine. See, this right here. It needs to stop. And when I Hell, she's said, been on lockdown. You bring her to Hollywood. Take her to the Universal Walk. Hell, get her out. <laughs>